Hey, what's up guys? Guess what? We are in After Effects today, shaking it up with a After Effects quick tip. So this happened to me uh, last week during a project, and it's happened a few times in the past, more than you would think. Um, you just have a simple logo from your client. It's This one's an EPS, but this has happened with .ai files also. And you go to render, and you can see that it's starting to flicker and kind of shift around a little bit. It's just acting really weird. I don't know if this depends on the scale of how this was made in Illustrator or what causes this, but every once in a while I'll run across this and it's really annoying. One way that you can get rid of this is by unchecking the rasterize button and you'll notice that now it's smooth and it's not flickering, but obviously this is not a good solution because we want to keep our resolution. So what I've found is that there is a hidden setting which actually fixes this. All you have to do is go to your logo, right click and go to uh, interpret footage and then main. And there's nothing on this dialog box that's gonna help you out, but there is this little more options. And if we click that, we have this EPS options. And it's set to anti-aliasing as faster by default. And if you use Cinema 4D, there's also an anti-aliasing in there, which is set to, I think, geometry. So this is basically just kicking it up so that it reads the edges more accurately and processes it more accurately. It says that it's a little bit slower, um, but it doesn't seem to affect the speeds too much on my end. So I just changed the anti-aliasing to more accurate, hit OK, and then we'll go ahead and re-render and check this out. And you'll notice that it's perfectly smooth now. All that flickering is gone and everything looks perfect. So if you ever deal with client logos or Illustrator files, just keep this in the back of your noggin. This might come up at some point. And when it does, you will be ready and you'll know the solution really quickly. So I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll catch you next time. Ciao.